but we got to start here with the Maui Invitational because we we did a whole podcast, Kyle, uh, Max, and I. We did a whole podcast previewing this tournament because Kansas was in it. Number one, Kansas. <laughs> number two, Purdue. Number four, Marquette. Number seven, Tennessee. Number eleven, Gonzaga. UCLA, Syracuse. My goodness, it was the most Good loaded team. field ever. Most loaded Good field team. ever. Five of the top 11? My goodness. It concluded today, the three-day event, with the Purdue Boilermakers cutting down the nets. I, I, It stings me to talk about it. You know, I know Max, is, <laughs> his, his asshole's burning right now. He wishes he could rub it in my face, but... <laughs> I I'm going to I'm going to give my respect to him right now and talk about his boilers boilers because they won their first ever Maui Invitational title. Along the way today in the championship game, they took down number 4 Marquette by 3. They took down number 7 Tennessee by 4 and they beat number 11 Gonzaga by 10 back on Monday. Zach Eady, the big dog, we all know the reigning national player of the year. Today, he had 28 points and 15 boards on 58% shooting. Yesterday against Tennessee, 23 and 10 on 70% shooting. And in that ass beating of Gonzaga, 25 and 14 on 50% shooting. In this championship game against Marquette, <laughs> Purdue had double the amount of threes, 10 to 5. They were plus 13 on the boards. They led by as many as 15 points in this game before Marquette came back at the end, made it a game. Last guy I want to talk about is former Mr. Indiana, Braden Smith. He chipped in 18 points today to go along with five boards and five assists. He knocked down four out of six from deep. Kyle, give me your thoughts on these stats and the fact that the Boilers, they cut down the nets in Maui this year. I mean, hey, man, they went through the gauntlet, man. They played three ranked teams. Like you said, there was five top 11 teams. They beat three of them. They're one of the other ones, so it means they only didn't go through one. So it wasn't a cakewalk you know, for that invitational. And, hey, Zach Eady, I heard all last year, I kept saying, I was like, you know, I think he could be a good player at the next level. Um, but everybody said, no, 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 he's just too slow, he's too clunky. And I'm like, I don't know. I think he's going to find a role. I, I, I like him. He's a little slow. But, I mean, he knows how to play the game. And, I mean, you're putting up 20, 20 plus and 14, I mean, 20 and 10 consistently – I don't yeah. care what level you're at once you're past high school. Like, that's impressive. So, uh, I mean, like I said, they, they went through the gauntlet. Those are good wins. Those are good teams. Uh, and I think they're they're gearing up for March Madness. I don't think they like how they went out last year. So, uh, yeah, this is this is to totally a revenge year, like you say, for yeah. for the Boilers with losing to the 16 seed fairly Dickinson Knights last season. <laughs> Def definitely a revenge season. <laughs> I mean, they had they had, they had the toughest road to get to the championship, going through those three ranked teams. Very impressive. Just to let everybody else know, Kansas, my Jayhawks, they were handled by Marquette in the semifinals due to 18 turnovers. Kansas scored 59 points and had 18 turnovers. You're not going to win when you do that. Marquette, Marquette handled that game. But today, Kansas rebounded. In the third place game, they beat Tennessee 69 to 60 behind Hunter Dickinson, 17 points and 20 boards. He is hitting the glass. Hunter Dickinson's a glass cleaner. Syracuse is playing the host school, Chaminade, now for seventh place. Right now they're playing. And then tonight, we got the fifth place game following that between Gonzaga and UCLA, a Sweet 16 rematch. That's a juicy one for fifth place. Kyle, the Boilers are the in question number one team when the new polls update on Monday morning. Are you going to argue with me about that? You got anybody no. else? No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue. Cause I mean, like I said, they've proven it. They've proven it. They, they're winning and they're winning against good teams. And I mean, until they get taken down, I mean, what, what can you say? I mean, this might change in a couple months from now, but I mean, as of now, I don't think you can put anybody else in number one. So, uh, 